Setting up a preferred pharmacy on a patient's chart can be done in a couple of different ways. Depending on your clinic's workflow, the front staff may be able to add this information for you. So on a patient's chart, if you go to the client card on the relations tab here, you're going to see down the left hand side here you have pharmacy. You also have an additional item called the prescribe it pharmacy. From here, you can click to add a new one and you can select from the list of pharmacies here or you can filter and search using the items at the top of the screen here. In this case, I'm just gonna click cancel as I do already have one set up. So this information is now saved on the client card, but it will also mean that it will default to that selection when creating a new medication on the patient's chart. So if I go to a medications tab and I am going to create a new medication, you can see here this defaulted pharmacy that was set up on the patient's client card has pre-populated here. That doesn't mean to say you have to send to this pharmacy every single time. For this particular individual medication, you may choose to send it to a different pharmacy and you can do so by selecting from the dropdown or clicking on the search for pharmacy button here. And then it will open up that search and select window again. So you can again select from the dropdown, search based on city, address, uh, whether it's in Alberta or a different province. You can even just type in, say, shoppers, and it will pull up that full list of shoppers, drug mart, pharmacies that are on prescribe it. And in that case, you can select just once so that it will send this prescription to that pharmacy. Or if the patient does not have a preferred pharmacy already saved on the client card, you can do that as you're creating the new medication. So you search for your pharmacy, you select your pharmacy, and then you can select and add as preferred. So this is going to add this to the client card in that relations tab as a preferred pharmacy for this patient. So moving forward, this is going to be the pharmacy that will populate when creating a new medication, unless you need to change it for a specific medication.